Hello everyone, welcome to Bimmo Online Channels. Uh, I hope uh, you are doing good in this corona situation. Uh, we are working from home and uh, we do uh, projects with uh, multiple clients as uh, family modeling and projects also. It's going good but as uh, compared with the previous uh, corona uh, issue, before the corona issue, it is not uh, that much uh, uh, work enough. So what I uh, today's session going to be is that uh, creating a multi-category tag. So we as pair that uh, we want to create all the families and provide series of tutorials and parametric tutorials and from the basics to advanced level. So it is going to be a daily video. Uh, this is a simple tutorial multi-category tags uh, can be used in uh, multiple projects, uh, multiple elements tagging. So it will reduce our uh, time organizing the family. We don't have to create n number of families, uh, which makes us a uh, tedious job and creating it. So we also uh, reduce the project size when we use a single family instead of using a multiple at the same time. So we'll go into the project. And uh, if you like this video, do subscribe and uh, share it with your learning friends so that it helps. See you on the next tutorial. Do share it with your learning friends and it helps us and you also. So we have gone through uh, multiple parametric family creations. We also wanted to cover what is a annotation family and how do we use multi-category family in that category. So multi-category families are uh, nothing but you can use this tag as for any other families. You can uh, use it in a multiple categories. It may be anything from door, window or uh, duct air terminal. So we can use it in any category. It may be uh, anything. So the simple advantage is that you can have a simple parameter say for example uh, type commands of a uh, particular element in Revit and you wanted to show their type name or uh, it may be a duct or it may be a wall so if it is a 8 inch thickness wall or if it is a uh, mitered elbow T or mitered duct so you can specify that using that tag so instead of going back and creating each and every one element as a separate tag category so you can have multiple category and you can define it in more advanced if you don't have any other parameters as uh, available as with your project you can create a shared parameter which help us to define multi categories i'll also link the above video in the upside you can see that the shared parameters how do we create the shared parameters and the comparison between the shared parameter and project parameters and family parameters you can refer it if you need it so this is a project i have it's a sample revit uh, mep advanced project you can open any other projects also let me show you what is multi category and how it does work you can see that it is a multi category once if you have taken it will show you the category name so whenever you select the product it will show you particular values you select window or door or wall it will show their type categories if you see that it's a type so we can check that after placing it simply select the element and go to the edit type you can see that this is the type of the element a similar way you can select their type and see that it's a mitre elbow tabs it will show the name in this place automatically so this is a similar way that we're going to create a multi-category from the scratch and we will be using that in our projects to start with file new family we are going to create an annotation family so under annotation you could find multi-category tag template it is rft you can select it and save open save the family into your locations so we are discussing parametric family creations it's multi category tag for room name so we are specifying it for room name so the room name parameters are avail not available by default we have to create the shared parameter in our project so i'm changing this backup to one and save this project 
and we have to add label we can customize as you need it and many of you know that once uh, this axis defines the center axis of the family so you can select these two and you will be able to know that it's a define origin automatically it will be the origin define so if you need you can change their origin by creating another reference plane from create and you can do it by yourself so since it's simple tag we are not going to do any parametric options it's a center axis so let's create a label and place it in the center positions like this and if you search that room name I wanted to specify the room name for an element if I search you could see that family name description type commands and type mark type name which is used in the previous case are available but the room name categories or the tags are not available properties we have to add a shared parameter and I have not defined any shared parameter yet so I can create the shared parameter as I need it shared parameter file you can select it and create your own group it is for tag tagging and define the parameter it's room name or you can define specifically element room name so that it will not create any confusion later time so it's a common and it's going to be a text value and select ok so if you wanted to learn more you can refer the video which is on the i button over here about the shared parameter and any other parameters which is available select ok the parameters will be available under this and select ok to select it and it will be assigned here and ok we are adding this element so automatically it will be listed in this box now you can add it to the right side and you can select the room name as the sample value it is not going to give us anything so if you need a prefix you can add the prefix as room name colon paste and if you need any other details and suffix you can add it and as of now I don't need it and select ok you can see that it's been added and you can select the label and you can customize your sizes of the element by going to the type and you can change it and since I it is in already in center and middle so let it, it be as same as it is and we, if it is needed we can change it later time and if you see that the keep readable is the important feature which is help us to uh, rotate while we rotate it if you are inside the project and automatically it is in the position of readable so if you see that if I tilt it see it automatically keeps the positions as readable so as always from right to left and bottom to top read, reading position will, make, will be maintained so I'm just escaping it and save the project one more time and I'm going to load this into a project the sample project so if I go in nearby any duct it will not show any room name automatically because the parameter is not available to this element and which is not assigned also two things we have to do so we can select it and you can just place it for our reference and if you see that if I click it, it it could not be edited so make sure that you add the parameter the shared parameter to the projects so under manage going to the shared parameter and I can see that the parameter is available as room name so I have to go and add the parameter by selecting it and going to the project parameter and we're going to add the parameter from shared parameter and select room and it can be an instance parameter or type parameter since uh, the same air terminal or duct can be in the other room also so it is a instance parameter so we have to select the uh, uh, instance in this place and it will be grouped under text if you need or you can keep it under identity data or general so we need to assign it to the mechanical equipments so let me untick this architectural and other elements I will be able to select other elements and say ok so make sure that unnecessary things are not required so for example air systems and analytical pipe connections are not required so if you need you can untick it and select ok 
now the parameter is added to our project so now if you select this tag and you you can edit this parameter if you go down here and you can see the parameter under identity data element room name and the room name could be assigned manually so if it is there so i could not see the room name in the project let me check with the annotations going back to the annotations tag all and i will be selecting the space space tag and going to apply apply now and if you see that it's m is that r room so we can go ahead and select the name as m is that r so once if it is assigned so we can see the name it's got updated automatically in this place similarly you can go ahead and select these two to add terminals and you can assign that room name as m is that r and tag these create similar or annotation under that multi category tag so we are creating the room name tag so if i select it and you could see that it's coming nearby the air terminal we don't need it like this so the better to way is that you keep it as right alignment so that it will be sorry left alignment so that it will be for us easy loading into project over at the existing it's similar and if i go nearby and could be on the right side automatically and you can stretch and add it wherever you need it so that's it about multi category tags it's easy and the same tags can be used in multiple places it reduces our project file size in stuff using multiple families in the project it reduces our work and it reduces our project size and it helps to make better uh, working with rovet so thank you so much for watching see you on the next project and which is maybe a next tutorial uh, later on so if you like this video do subscribe and share it with your learning friends we continue to do our daily videos do subscribe and share it with your learning friends happy learning